Hello, welcome to Guillaume's Cuisine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a wonderfully buttery sponge cake flavoured with angelica. This cake originates from the Charente region in western France, which is famous for producing very high quality butter. I was given the recipe by a French lady called Claudine Rongier, and she gets it from her grandmother. It's very quick and straightforward to make, in the sense that it just requires a few steps and we only need six ingredients, which are plain flour, sugar, a couple of eggs, I prefer free range, and salted butter. We are going to flavor the cake with candied angelica. Angelica is a sweet smelling plant that is widely used in confectionery and desserts, such as cupcakes, owing to its very subtle aromatic flavor. If you can't find angelica in your nearest supermarket, it's widely available online. You can also replace angelica with raisins, glassed cherries and other dried fruits. We're also going to use a bit of cognac. If you don't have any, regular brandy or even whiskey will do it nicely. Let's start off with the angelica. Cut it into small pieces the size of large raisins and leave the pieces to soak in the liquor. I personally think it's easy to use a pair of scissors, but you're welcome to use a knife if you prefer. Now let's move on to the cake. You have to ensure the butter is soft enough to be mixed with the sugar. I would advise you to leave it out of the fridge for a couple of hours prior to using it. If you've forgotten to do so, or if it's still a bit hard, you can microwave it on lower power for one minute or two. As you can see, I'm only using a regular wooden spoon. What I want to show you is that you can easily get by with using basic equipment for this recipe, but feel free to use a mixer if you have one. I must admit this operation requires quite a lot of elbow grease. Once the batter is completely mixed with the sugar, add one of the eggs and continue mixing. After that, put in half the flour. When fully incorporated, crack the second egg. Give the preparation a good stir and then put in the rest of the flour. It's nearly ready. All that is left to do is add the angelica and liquor. Make sure the angelica bits are evenly spread in the mix. Now place the preparation in the greased cake tin. This one is about 8 inches in diameter. If you don't have a cake mould, you can also place the mix on the baking paper. As you can see, it's very thick and can hold together. The cake has been in the oven for about 45 minutes. It looks beautiful and smells wonderful. Very nice golden colour on the top. To find out if it's baked properly, insert the blade of a knife into the centre of the cake. If no residue is found on the blade, it means it's ready. Unmold the cake while it's still lukewarm because as the cake cools down it might become difficult to take it out of the tin and cover it with foil to keep it moist. I like serving this cake at room temperature with a bit of icing sugar that you can sprinkle by means of a sip, if you don't mind the additional calories, that is. I do hope you've enjoyed watching this video and feel free to give me some feedback on Twitter and Facebook. You can find all the relevant links below this video. Till the next video, goodbye!